I'm Anne-Marie, again from 21st Harlow Church Langley Group, and this time we are going to be making a Hogwarts dice. Okay, so as you can see from here we have four Hogwarts houses, and then on the other two sides we've got Harry Potter and Dumbledore. You can put on it whatever you like. That's the big version. Okay, attached we have a net of a cube, so this is design of a cube. Now, when I first printed it off, I drew my little designs on it. Not wonderfully, as you can see, I've got my Dumbledore, Harry Potter, and the four houses. Um, and what we're then going to do, because they weren't wonderful, and I wanted a bigger dice, I've then drawn it onto a piece of cardboard, like that. I've started cutting this one out. As you can see, you've got the little sections marked off. Do not cut along there. That is your flat that we will be bending um, when we do it. I'm leaving that little flat there. And the same on that one. So now you should have that shape. Okay. And then on all these lines, what we're going to do is fold. I'm going to fold it which way. It depends on which side you want your cardboard to be. So we're going to bend these all out along the line. Fold it. So on your sides you also need to fold up this edge here. So all your bits are going yeah, nice on that line. So you're folding that up. So on your edges now you can do this if you do it with glue it can obviously stick a little bit more permanently but I'm using some sellotape so um, this is not going to be a very permanent one. Double siding my sellotape and popping it in there. And then that is going up there. This one is going to stick, I'll get the right bit, stick in there. And that one will stick on that side. My fingers, Oops, flying in the wind, which forms the next side of the cube. And we're going to bring it up. Oh, I stuck it to the wrong bit. There we go. Up there. And then fold it along the side and stick the sellotape in place. See, it's already starting to form a nice cube. Squeeze that back in nice and tight. That on there, and that is going to squeeze on in there into a nice box. And then we're going to put some sellotape around the edge of it to keep it all squeeze it along the edge and down the side. And see, and then I say you could have, if you wanted to, glued, and then that would hold it in place. A little bit easier. Okay, so I'm going to put that on there and glue, squeeze it in place. And then we put some on the top and down on the top and down to and down. So there, I'm going to put one up there. your box. So as I say, with this you can now draw your own design or print off pictures from the web. Um, so if you wanted to, you can paint it before you stick your pictures on or you can even paint your pictures on, whichever you prefer. Once you've got your completed dice, you can then challenge your friends, roll your dice and see what you are, whether you're from Gryffindor or Slytherin or Ravenclaw or whether you are Professor Rumbledore or Harry Potter. Roll your dice and throw it. Ooh. And what am I? I'm a Gryffindor. There you go, I'm in Harry Potter. Just. And if once you've got your dice, once you've decided what house you're in, you can do a little game with it as well. So do different um, activities for each of the things on the dice. Enjoy!